In this video, we're gonna be talking all about the Hive dashboard. This is also known as the very first thing you see when you've logged into your Hive account. There's three sections of the dashboard that we're gonna to cover today. We have subscriber growth and engagement level, email performance, and e-commerce performance. First, we're just gonna talk about subscriber growth and engagement level. This is the section you first see when you log into Hive. You'll see a nice holistic view of how your subscriber list is doing. You'll see that they're broken down into four bars and you're probably asking yourself, what do these bars mean? And that's a great question. Let's talk about it. So we have your active subscribers, which are subscribers who engaged with, meaning opened or clicked any of the last five emails they've received. You have your new subscribers, subscribers who haven't yet engaged but received less than five emails. At-risk subscribers, subscribers who haven't engaged recently but received at least five emails. Then you have inactive subscribers, subscribers who haven't engaged with any of the last 10 plus emails they've received. So basically, with every email that you send, these bars will fluctuate depending on who has opened your email. It's just a really great way to stay on top of how your list is doing. Now that we've covered that, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the email performance section. The graph on your right shows how many emails have been clicked and opened over the past week. And if you go ahead and hover over one of the dates, you'll see exactly how many emails were opened and how many were clicked. To the left of the graph, we have a nice overview of the number of emails sent over the past seven days, the overall percentage that have been opened, and the percentage that have been clicked. Now that we've covered email performance, we're gonna go ahead and move down to the last section of the dashboard the e-commerce performance section. Now, this is what it will look like if you don't have any e-commerce platforms connected with Hive. But if you do connect a platform, like Shopify, for example, this is what your graph could look like. Here you'll see a graph that breaks down the revenue generated from that email campaign. If you hover over a date, you'll see that the revenue has been broken down by email campaigns, journeys, and revenue generated outside of Hive. That concludes the rest of this video. If you'd like to learn more, check out some of our resources linked in the description below. 